Oh, hello and welcome to Monster Hunter World with James R. Hooch. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the Switch Axe. I'm no Switch Axe expert and I'm no YouTube expert and I'm sure there's video, well I know there's videos out there that explain this better than I will, but this is for friends really. It's a real beginner's level basics of how to use a Switch Axe. I'm sure I'll forget stuff, I'm sure I'll stutter and I'm sure I'll have to go back over things as and when I forget them. But anyway, let's have a go, like I say. Don't be coming at this as if you're a monster and a vet thinking, oh yeah, what's this gear? I know nothing. But I've got friends that play the game, don't know how to use a switch axe, so I'm going to show them how to use a switch axe. Okay? Right, so here we go. Switch axe. What is a switch axe? Well, obviously, it's an axe that switches into a sword. Switch axe. So let's go through some basic combos with the switch axe. So we'll draw it by pressing Y. Sweet. And that's put it in axe mode. Now, a basic combo with that now is if we press Y, we have a side slash, then a rising slash, and again, three Y's, overhead slash. I did one too many there, but you get the idea. So, uh, we've got one, two, three, overhead slash. And if you notice in the top left-hand corner, do it again, the stamina bar does not move. I can spam that over and over and over again. And the stamina bar will not move. Okay. Now, another combo is using the B button. So, we can press that. And that will just keep wildly swinging, smashing away. But if you look at the stamina bar, you'll notice you can only do that to your rare stamina. And then it stops. That will drain your stamina. But if the monster's down, and you can't get into sword mode, and you just want to wail on him, and he's down, he's in a trap, and you just want to keep on giving him some punishment, then, whoa, you can do that. Okay. So, a combo from there could be, you could do, uh, let me think. Y, 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 and then into, into the B, the wall swings, and there's a little combo to start with. Okay. Now, another combo would be from there is we could bring this into switch mode. Oh, we've also I forgot one there. If you press Y and B together in axe mode, then you've got the rising slash. So you're fighting a flying creature or you want to take his tail off and you want to attack up. If you press Y and B, you can do a rising slash. So let's go over that again. So we've got Y, Y, Y overhead slash. There's B, 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 which is wild swings. So if you want, you can do. Um, and then we've got rising slash, which is Y and B together. Okay. Right, now, the sword, the axe, also changes into a sword. Now, just let me sharpen my sword quickly. My axe, switch axe, give that a bit of a sharpen. Okay, now above the, sorry, below the marker for your sharpness for your sword, you'll see a picture of a switch axe. And that is full at the moment with a green bar. So that is what you need the power to turn into sword mode. So you can do it any time by pressing the right trigger, but a good way of doing it is if you're doing these wild swings and then you press the trigger, then you'll do a morph sweep, which is pretty sweet. And now we're in sword mode. Now when you're in sword mode, you start doing the, using the power fault or the elemental damage of the weapon. So let's have a look, that's the wrong button, so let's have a look. This particular weapon has no element, but as a file type power file. Okay. So let's get back into sword mode. You can draw straight into sword mode with right trigger as well if you want. You haven't got to do the combo. You can just draw straight into sword mode. Now, as you use this, you'll notice that the gauge goes down. So we'll just watch the gauge for the time being. We'll just do some moves. And we'll see that the gauge is emptying. The sword gauge going down, it's going down, it's going down. Until eventually it runs out. And then you'll have to be forced back into axe mode. Now the only way to fill that gauge though is you, it fills up over time, it will fill while you're sheathed, 
and it'll fill while you're doing damage. So let's fill that up again. Let's get nice and full. That'll do. And now we'll just sharpen it again. Okay, now combos with the switch axe. Right. A good combo with the switch axe, just to start with, I'll show you half the combo to start with, is oh, let's put it in sword mode first, that would help. Is Y, 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 and then B, B. Okay. Now you'll know when to press start and start to change the combo to the B button from the Y button. The best way to do it is when the sword sweeps from right to left, then start hitting B. So if you watch one, two, right to left, and then we're into the and then we're into the B moves. Okay. Now, what you will also notice, we'll have to wait for it to run out, so I'll quickly edit the video until it runs out. I'll get uh, the meter back up, and then we'll come back, and then I'll show you the elemental discharge. Right, so we've got a full gauge now, and what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you the elemental discharge. Now, if you look once again at that icon in the top left-hand corner, of the, of the switch axe below the sharpness thing and next to the picture of my mantle and above where it says switch axe you'll see that that's got the full green bar and like we said before that is to use the sword but when you i'm in sword mode or draw to sword mode if you watch around the outside of the of the icon you'll sit, start to see it fill up around the outside with a blue bar right so i'll just wildly hack away see the blue filling up Okay, it's nearly there, it's nearly there, it's nearly there, and then eventually you'll see this after this one there. There you go. Did you see it flash? It's just started to flash, and now it's flashing. When it's flashing, if you press Y and B together, and then hammer Y, you'll do this cool elemental discharge. Elemental discharge finisher. Now, let's explain that. We need to get that build that back up again just put the axe away okay we've still got we've still got enough to do one let's show you when it's not full it's okay let's show you when it's not full so we'll come back in a sec we'll edit that more we'll come back and show you when it's not full okay so it's run out so what we're going to do now is we're going to fill it up but we're going to stop halfway through and we'll do an elemental discharge again so we're away we're away we're away we're away it's only half full it's just over half full but we can still do the elemental discharge like so if you was to wait till it's flashing and we'll show that in a little video at the end and you aim it at the monster can't really do it i don't think in the training in the training in the training area what happens is you will mount the monster and do an elemental discharge but you will only do that if that bar around the switch axe symbol is flashing so let's talk about okay so you got that okay let's talk about combos right combos the biggest combo the best combo i suppose although you'll very rarely get time to use all this combo if there's an opening, there is time to do in axe mode. So if you've got it caught in a pitfall trap, you can do the Y, 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 B, 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 press the right trigger, morph into sword mode, you're in sword mode, you can do the three Ys, although I'll cock that up, and then a couple of Bs, and then you'll do the spinning, Evan with flurry, and then finish it off with a discharge, that's done plenty damage and that in my opinion is why the switch axe rocks love this weapon love this weapon okay but if we're just in sword mode you like i said you can just do the y y y when it comes out and then the b's 
and then after you do that spin attack the heavenly oh, run out run out of power then you can do the elemental discharge but we're out so we'll have to wait for that to charge up again <clears throat> and that's about it for the switch actually i mean there are more advanced things i mean there's all the moves to do with sliding down the hill you can slide down the hill use the Y button to do a jumping axe sweep what else can you do you can run down the hill and you can draw straight to sword mode for a rising a jumping rising slash with the sword Let's try that again would help if I press sprint to get to the top of the hill back down get to the bottom boom straight into sword mode and that is about all I can think of at the moment for a beginner to get the grips with the to the switch axe. So if you're new to the game and you're finding the weapons hard work and you don't quite know all the combos, you don't know what to do, it doesn't explain it very well, then like I said, we'll just go through it one more time. We draw it into the axe mode. You've got Y, Y, Y is a combo. You can no stamina. You can wildly swing with the B button, which will drain your stamina. While you're in that wild swing mode, you can press the trigger button to morph into axe into sword mode. And when you're in sword mode, you can do the three Ys, two Bs, heavenly flurry with the third one, and then press Y and B together for the elemental discharge. Although I forgot to stop pressing Y there, and then when it's when it's flashing, the, the outside of the symbol, that's when you can mount the monster. And do all sorts of damage so we're going to put all that together now we'll go and fight i mean, overpowered but we'll go and fight a jagras and then we'll we'll see how that works and we'll put all that together and someone interrupted about me waffling a load of yum yum crap over it and uh you can just see how the switch axe works so back in a sec Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, you learned something, and like and like I said, uh, there will be something that I forget, and I have just remembered, when mounting the monster, doing that elemental discharge, be aware, you can be, if the 
uh, monster is not weak enough or you know out of breath sometimes out of breath sometimes I'm trapped etc if they're full of beans especially if they're in rage mode then they can roar you off they can knock you off they can that can do all sorts and do you some damage in fact I've even there's been one monster later and I won't spoil it that one hit me while mounted and that was the end of that it was all over so anyway that's the switch axe Oh, oh, that explains it. So remember, if you're struggling to mount the monster, when that bar fills up around the switch axe, then it's when it's flashing you can mount the monster. Okay, until the next one. See you later. Ta-ra a bit.